hope you're all well. Today I'll be showing you how you can get this beautiful look for Valentine's Day. It's a very soft, kind of slightly smoky, um, shimmery, neutral eye with a beautiful red lip. And it's a very boy-friendly and Valentine's friendly lip. So if you want to find out how to do this look, then please stay tuned for the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is what I did for my skin. I know the lighting coming in the back is making me look quite yellow, but um, yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> um, so the first thing I did for my skin was just apply some Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is a great foundation. It's probably my favorite foundation of all time because it has quite good coverage, but I'd say about medium coverage without making it look cakey. And if you apply a small amount, if you just apply one pump all over your face, it will really even out your skin tone. But at the same time, it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation. It's a very, very natural finish. So it's a great one for going out when you don't want to look like you're wearing too much makeup. On my cheeks, I used a cream blush. And this is Lady Blush from MAC. This is what it looks like. It's quite a deep pink, but um, I just applied a very small amount of it on the apple of the cheek and then just blended it out with my fingers. And it creates a lovely, soft, natural flush. And then uh, for a highlighter, I applied some number seven skin illuminator, and mine is in the shade pink, which I recommend for um, really light skin tones. And if you have a dark skin tone, they have a peach one, and I think they have a slightly more gold one, but I'm not too sure. But it just comes with a little um, brush on the end. You kind of take a little bit, um, just you know, pop it on the high planes, cheekbones. I put a little bit um, under my brow and the tiniest amount on the bridge of my nose. You can also pop a little bit on your cupid's bow for a really subtle sheen. But that's how I made the skin look dewy. And then I just took a little bit of Makeup Forever um, HD powder and I just kind of powered through the center of the face, just down the nose, around the nose, and on the chin. Just the areas where you get oily and then also I powdered under the eyes over that concealer. So the rest of the face, as you can see, is quite shiny. You can see that highlight there. Um, it's quite dewy and looks really fresh and natural, which is what we're going for with this look. Sorry, I was interrupted by a carpenter for about an hour, so as you can see, it's getting darker now. <laughs> but anyway, let's start with the eyes. It's going to be very, very quick and simple. Um, just apply Urban Decay Prime Potion or whatever primer you're using. And then just choose a very kind of sheer, shimmery shade. Something that's not too different from your skin tone. I'm using Flu from MAC because we are going to be doing something um, darker on the lips. You want to keep the eyes light, but as I always say, I like to have features balanced, so I wouldn't want to have the eyes completely nude when you have a dark lip. So we're just putting that shimmery color all over the lid, and then I'm on the end of my MAC 239, I'm going to take that same fluff color into the tear duct, quite deep into the tear duct and a little bit under the lash line. This really helps to open the eyes up and make them appear brighter. It's a great trick to do if you have small eyes as well, so I quite often do it because my eyes aren't the hugest. Next I am taking Wedge, surprise surprise, <laughs> just a matte brown. Um, I'm just taking that on a 222. Um, MAC brush, any kind of fluffy tapered brush will work well. And I'm going to start going in with that in my crease. Kind of darkening up the outer V as well. This is just our base colour. And then um, just use various shades of kind of browns, taupes, greys just to build it up. The next colour I'm using is Quarry, which is right there. It's kind of a taupey brown with a little bit of a mauve undertone. And we're putting that into the crease as well. So it's slowly starting to darken it up. And by building layers and layers of different colours, it just starts to look much softer. Instead of having, you know, one harsh dark brown colour, it adds a lot more dimension to the eye. And while we're here, we're going to use this kind of mid-tone taupey colour on the 219 under the eye. We don't really want to darken up this area because we want to keep it open and bright. Just to add a little bit of definition to the lower lash line, we're going to use a tiny bit of quarry. Next I'm going to take a little bit of scene, which is a light grey, and this is more of a blue grey, 
so um, it's nice to kind of mix cool toned colours with warm toned colours when you're trying to do a really soft smoky look. Now for my highlight colour I'm going to take a little bit of Shroom, which is right there. It's pretty much universal highlight, it's kind of a shimmery, nude, creamy colour. Just a little bit of that. For our waterline, we're going to use a white pencil. I'm using NYX's white. And this isn't the most pigmented of whites. So for those of you who are scared of using one because you think it looks really unnatural, because this one is quite sheer, it doesn't look like a stark white. As you can see, um, it just kind of helps to open up the eye a little and just gives it kind of like a glazed white look. So it brightens it without being too obvious. Then for our eyeliner, I'm just going to use a liquid liner, and this is L'Oreal's Super Liner Carbon Gloss. Now we're going to add some mascara, and I'm using the Extra Black Mascara uh, Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. And now for the false lashes, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Dramatic Lashes. This one dries pretty quickly. And then we're just going to place it on. I like to just place it in the middle, and then take the outer corner and stick it down. And then we'll do the inner corner and place it. And then what I do is just take the back of my tweezers and just really push down so the lash gets as close to the lash line as possible. Our eyes are pretty much done. Now for the lips. Um, I was thinking, how can I get away with doing a red lip for Valentine's Day? After all, you know, it may look amazing, it may look striking and sexy, but it's not going to be very practical, is it? It's Valentine's Day, and if you're going to be kissing someone, the last thing you really want is for them to be you know, covered in red lipstick, and you're smudged, and it just ends up being a whole mess. So, what I would do, if you do want kind of a plummy or dark red or any kind of dark colour, is um, just get a lip stain. There are lots of different ones available. Um, I really like the Bourjois Rouge High Tech ones because they're water based and they last an incredibly long time. Um, it's very difficult to get them off but they really do the job. Um, Body Shop has a really nice lip and cheek stain which I can't find at the moment. And then um, Beauté also do fantastic colours of lip and cheek stains. I've just been sent this one uh, to review and I tried it out this morning and it took me a long time to try and scrub it off. My lips kind of needed a little bit of exfoliation so I was going to use a lip scrub anyway. But I really, really love this colour and um, it is called Fever. So it's a liquid gel for lips and cheeks. So the first thing you want to do um, before I started applying my makeup is just put a little bit of lip balm because stains can be a little bit drying um, and you know they dye the um, skin that's on your lips that's a little bit chapped, a darker colour than the rest of your skin so it can make it quite obvious if your lips are a bit chapped. So just put in a bit of moisturiser, now mine's all worked in and my lips are dry. I'm just going to apply the stain. I want quite a strong stain, so I put on quite a lot. If you want it to be more sheer, then just kind of dot it on, and then just start patting it in. And it doesn't kind of sink in as fast, which is nice because you can work with it a little bit longer. Whereas the other one where you put it, it will stain. So far, I think it's absolutely beautiful. You can see it gives kind of a soft matte finish, but it doesn't feel very drying on the lips. And there's your stain. So you can leave it matte like this. I think the matte um, looks really nice with the shimmery colour. But if you want your mouth to look really, you know, glossy and sexy, you can add a little bit of a lip gloss. I would recommend using just a clear lip gloss because then, you know, if you're eating or doing anything else, um, you're not going to leave behind dark stains like a dark lip gloss mark or anything like that. I'm just going to use a clear lip gloss from Gemma Kid. This is her lip and eye gloss. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in the centre of my lips. I think it just really looks like I'm wearing a sheer red lipstick or a very pigmented red gloss. But um, the difference is when I touch something, as you can see, none of the colours come off. 
it's still red on my lips and my hand is still white you can see the gloss so I think it's a really good alternative and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I wish you all a wonderful Valentine's Day thanks so much lots of love bye